What Greyhound did on December 26, 2023 was atrocious. The 1201 bus from New York Port Authority Bus Terminal to Atlantic City Casinos was four hours late. Two other buses, the 130 bus from New York Port Authority to Atlantic City Casinos arrived and departed, and the 3 o'clock bus arrived and maybe departed, but I didn't get to see it properly. But let's just say that two other buses arrived and departed before the 1201 did. Why? Because our bus didn't show up. Our driver was there, and at 1201, when he was supposed to leave, he came and he was like, once the bus shows up, we can get on the bus and we can leave. And he stepped outside for a second. The customer service in the station just straight up left. Like they just straight up hid because there were several there were several other buses that were presumably late because there was a lot of long lines. They didn't want to deal with that. We got a text that was like, "Hi, the twelve hundred one bus to Atlantic City is experiencing some delays. We apologize." Like, after, like, two hours, they were like, we apologize. We're sorry. We can't do anything. Do we know where it is? No. Can we help you? No. Can you get a refund? No. Screw you. And that is despite of their refund policy, which says if, you're, if your bus is more than two hours late, you can request a refund, and they have to give it to you. So, the 130 bus arrived, and people got put into a different line, and then the 130 bus left. And the 1201 bus was still, still somewhere, where, I don't know. At the very least, the people who have been waiting the longest got to go on the 130 bus. There was a few seats open, so the people who have been waiting since like 9 o'clock got to go on the 130 bus. But not the rest of us. So by this point, a few people tried to call Greyhound. By the way... There, when you call them, the sound that your phone makes, like the dialing sound that you just, is like terrible. It's like it's like a mix of like the dial-up internet, an actual like dialing phone, and then like the emergency alert system thing. That's like, I'm just sort of sitting down here at the bus terminal because I'm bored and my legs hurt at this point. And now it's three o'clock. The three o'clock bus to Atlantic City arrives and it boards. And finally, our bus comes at around 3 30 before the three o'clock bus leaves. But there's an issue because the bus is so late, the tickets won't scan anymore. So we have to wait for them to clear the ticket scanner so it can, so it can scan tickets. So then finally, our ticket scanner can scan tickets and we get on the bus and I'll be there at like 4 o'clock and we get here at like 6.30. We're supposed to get here at 2.45. <sighs> There's a quote from Miles in Transit and I'm going to read it now. And I think it sums up this whole experience perfectly. If Greyhound was an airline, it would be beaten to the ground so quickly. Or even a railroad. Amtrak has its problems, but they're nothing like this. But it's not an airline or a railroad. A few people today have said they're never riding again, but Greyhound doesn't care. They know that they can keep running their horrible service and people will still come because they have no other option. We're back at home now, and uh, our bus ride home was 20 minutes late. So that was that was not great, but not as bad as four hours late. Man, I thought I just put it in the video.